Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here. I'm a CPA with EA Tax Resolutions. And today, we're going over the basics of gift tax. All right, so you're about to probably get a gift here and you wanna make sure that the government's not gonna come after you for some taxes. So I'm gonna let you know everything to know about these gift taxes. But where we have to first start is what is a gift? So what the IRS says a gift is, is a transfer of property from one individual to another while receiving nothing or less than full value in return. So this is any type of property, not just money. So any type of like cars, house, anything that you're receiving and you're not having to repay, that is a gift. Now I wanna make sure we distinguish a gift from a loan. A loan is where you receive property, cash, house, car, and you have to basically pay it back. That's a loan. That is not a gift. So loans are not subject to gift taxes. Gifts potentially are. So who is subject to the gift tax? First and foremost, it's U.S. residents. Secondly, it's the person that's giving the gift. The person that receives the gifts d generally is not subject to any gift taxes. How much can you give and avoid the gift tax? So currently 2021, we have an annual exclusion of $15,000 you can give per person. Now that means, you know, you can give 15 to your father, 15 to your son, 15 to your niece, your nephew, right? And you can avoid gift taxes or any filings at all by doing that. Now, if you're married, right, you can give 15 and your spouse can also give 15 to that same person. All right, so here's the golden question. What if you give over $15,000 to one person in one year? Well, first and foremost, you have to file the form 709, which is the gift and or estate tax return. Gift and estate taxes are essentially the same thing. An estate tax, or better known as the death tax or the inheritance tax, is the amount of tax you pay on your assets when you die. There is an exclusion from the estate tax. And the amount of the exclusion is $11.7 million if you're an individual or times two if you're married, $23.4 million. What that means is if your assets, when you die, are worth over those amount, you will pay tax on the amount that's over the $11.7 million. So if you have under the $11.7 million, you don't pay any estate tax. Now the reason I'm explaining this is because if you give over the $15,000 per year to one person, the amount over the 15,000 will just reduce your lifetime exclusion of the $11.7 million. So in real numbers, if you give, let's say $20,000 to your son, that's $5,000 over the 15,000 annual exclusion, that $5,000 will reduce your lifetime exclusion for the estate tax of the $11.7 million. So you have, uh, about $11.695 million left for your exclusion when you die. So what happens is you'll have to file that 709, the form 709 to report this. But the thing is, you're not going to pay gift tax. It's just going to reduce the amount of your lifetime exclusion for your estate tax. All right. So next is the exemptions to the gift tax. I'd say the first exemption from a gift tax is the gift of a subscription to my channel or a like to this video if this is helpful. Or I guess you can dislike it if you don't like this video, but that would definitely be excluded from gift taxes. Okay, all jokes aside, exemptions from gift tax, first and foremost, is you have unlimited gifts you can give to your spouse. Those you do not have to report and there's no uh, amount to, it's unlimited. Number two is any gifts to charity. You can give as much as you want to a 501c3 and not have to report it or pay any tax on that. Number three is gifts to an educational institution for qualified tuition or educational expenses. 
Now the caveat here is you have to make that payment directly to that educational institution. You can't make it to your son and then he pays the institution. You gotta make it directly to the institution. Number, th number four is the medical, uh, is a gift to a medical facility for medical expenses. Again, caveat, you gotta make the payment directly to the medical facility for this to qualify as an exemption from the gift tax. All right, so the next question is, how much is the gift and or estate tax if it's over the $11.7 million? Well, if you look here at this table, it will give you a very complicated uh, version of how to calculate your gift or estate tax. Not very easy, I understand, but it's somewhat like the income taxes in that it's a marginal tax bracket system. So if you have 10,000 over the $11.7 million, you're gonna pay 18% on that 10,000, which is 1,800 bucks, right? And so on. So if you have 20,000 over the 11.7, you're gonna pay 18% on the first 10, and then 20% on the second 10 for 3,800 bucks, and so on. So like, you know, on the, on the high end, if you have a million dollars, so if you have $12.7 million and you die, you're gonna pay the 345, which is all these brackets here, the 345. And then if you have over a million dollars, you'll pay 40% on the amount over the million dollars. Last but not least is foreign gifts. So if you're receiving a gift from a non-resident of US, those gifts are not taxable. However, you will have to report these. If you're receiving a gift from a non-resident or a foreign individual or a foreign estate, you would have to report that on the form 3520 if it's over $100,000. And you'll have to report it on a 3520 if it's over $16,649 from a foreign corporation or foreign partnership. Again, there's no tax on this. It's just a reporting or a filing issue here. Now, if you don't file these and the IRS is catches wind, obviously we get some penalties. They have the greater of either $10,000 or five to 35% of the gross value of the property that was given. Again, hope this video was helpful for you guys in explaining how these gift taxes work. <clears throat> a like, a subscribe, or sharing with anyone you think this is helpful for uh, would very much help me and uh, we'll keep you in the loop on future tax issues that I go over. Thank you so much guys.